I'm in the town of White Wright and I'm planning to uh, record the 693. So this is a road which um, Hank told me to take and I did it a couple of times, just probably one time before and it was a fun route. It's got a lot of twists and turns. So it's a good place to practice. I guess uh, that's where Hank did all his practice here <laughs> when he was getting back into motorcycling. And Graham told me about this one too. So it's gonna be fun. Oh, let's head out. So what I've been doing is uh, pretty much uh, riding a little bit and doing some practice uh, on some uh, in the parking lot and stuff and just chatting around in, uh, in that Facebook group, the BMW 1200 GSA group. That's a fun group, uh, a lot of people. people just chatting about stuff and very experienced guys too so that's been a fun thing so let me just find the 697 and make a left on it and we'll continue junction 697 right here I see it coming on the left hand side Car coming behind me. Hopefully he sees my markers and indicators. Ah, this road is going to Ida. That's where the phone is. Okay. That's where the party starts. I realize that uh, the lesser gear you're in the better it is because you can actually just power through the corner that's what it is power through the curves so um, if the curve says uh, 40 mile an hour then I try to be at in the fourth gear so that I can actually power through the curve and the more you use your legs to control the bike your hands get free and that's one thing I figured out today so so you just need to hold the bike with your legs tighter and then your hands get free. So it says 30 mile an hour. So I get down to I uh, break right here to about and then I kind of get down to the thir third gear I guess 30 mile an hour. So I can actually just power through and accelerate so you get better traction. So that's what it's all about. And if you think you're going hard into a corner, all you got to do is lean more. Because I figured out that the 45 degree, once you start moving past 10 mile an hour, uh, your bike is going to be stable till about 45 degrees. And that's huge. You know, you're not going to, by the time you hit 45 degrees on a GSA, you're probably hitting the pegs on the ground so what I noticed what happens is when you get hard on into a curve you tend to panic quicker than anything else so you got to just be calm and lean more and that way you'll be all right so that's that's the trick that's what I'm here to practice today so here it says 40 mile an hour curve coming up So I get down to the fourth gear and scrub my speed a little bit and then that way I can actually power through the corner, uh, roll on the throttle so I get better traction and better control. I think that's the, that's the trick and lean more, lean more, that's what it is, don't be afraid to lean more. Your bike can handle it except when there's gravel that's when or the roads and road conditions are bad but other than that your 
bike can handle a lot more traction than what you think. This is beautiful, but that's, that's what is the practice for today. Hopefully you guys uh, learn as I go on with my experience here. And I noticed that, uh, you know, I've been watching a lot of videos and, uh, you know, people put some music and stuff like that. Nah, I think I'd just like to chat. You know, there's always things about which you can chat and I've been looking up at, uh, okay, here comes a 35 mile an hour curve. Scrub the speed, came down 6th, 5th. So I say, okay, you know what? Come to 4th, and I actually come to 3rd. I, I like 3rd better, that way I can actually roll on and accelerate through the curve. Nothing, this curve, it doesn't say anything. So assume I can make it in the fourth. Probably not, but let me see how. Yeah, I can do it. Just lean more, lean more. Lean more. That's what it's all about. traction when you're accelerating. So that's the trick. So here we're coming to another 35. 35. I'm wondering if I should do it at fourth gear, but nah, let me scrub this piece and I like third gear better. That way I can really roll on the throttle and lean. I get more confidence if I'm in a lower gear and I'm accelerating. I can lean more comfortably. I don't get scared. So that's the key. Yeah. Drop to a lower gear so you can actually accelerate through it. Thanks, Graham, for the tip. So I'm going to put this on the YouTube for you guys to check it out. How is this how I got going? Yeah, I've been looking at camping, you know, I've been looking at the Trans America Trail. You know, I live uh, up here in the North Texas area, so I can hit the Arkansas and the Oklahoma part pretty quickly. So uh, that's what I'm planning to do, you know, once I get, the, get comfortable on these street roads and once I Once I finish up with these uh, Street Anarchy 3 tires, I'm going to get the 50-50 tires on it. And that way... Yeah, see that? I stop the speed and then I can roll on the throttle. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's my next... Next goal is to uh, first make an... Um, overnight trip I think to the Arkansas area because there are some beautiful roads uh, which are paved roads itself in the Arkansas area so uh, the Talamina road or something like that so I'm going to try out one of those uh, but my final goal is to hit the Trans America Trail so that I can actually do you know a little bit of off and on road how there's some gravel out there you gotta be careful I will lean, the bike leans on one side and you lean on the other. That's what you need to do on the growl. Okay. So accelerate up to the fifth. And now I gotta drop the speed down. It's a 40 mile an hour curve, so drop the gear. It scrubs the speed. And then power on. 
and hold the bike with your feet that way your hand is light on the handlebars you know? so that's it's, th treat the bike like a horse do you control the horse with your hands or the feet that's what it is that's what i figured out today you gotta control the horse with your knees and your thighs i guess that's what it's all about now. so so here comes a 30 mile an hour curve so I scrub the speed, I'm in 6th, 5th, 4th, 3rd, and then accelerate. This doesn't say the speed, so I'm assuming it's still 30, but I think I'll try the 4th, 3rd. Yeah, 4th is still pulling, so I like it. here but normally I don't like I'm just trying to learn that's why I'm trying to go with the maximum speed I can but typically I, I hate going fast there's absolutely no point going fast on a motorcycle 30 mile an hour I'm six speed six gears I screw up the speed first fourth now I do th I come to third I don't like yeah see I scrub the speed too early but that's okay so now I just lean and lean lean and lean and lean Next trick is to to reduce the speed just as I get to the corner. I don't like to use my brakes much, but I think that's the next level. So I'm going fast here, so I actually use the brakes to scrub the speed forth, and then I drop it right at the point where I can start accelerating and leaning. guys are enjoying my uh, exercise here but uh, it's just it's a lot of fun learning how to ride better see that was a little too fast there so uh, I got a little scared I didn't want to lean as much but I should have leaned more that's what I should have done uh, that's the natural instinct that you try to slow down rather than lean more so I guess that's what you need to overcome. It's beautiful. There you go. See, I came a little hard on the corner and I kind of slowed down. I stopped the speed rather than trying to lean. That will come by practice. Still not confident. And my first instinct is still to scrub the speed rather than to lean more. So that's something I need to overcome. Uh, I think I'm making decent progress, I wouldn't say it's great, but uh, that's what it's all about, you know, trying to figure out and have fun and learn so that you become a better rider, more importantly, a safer rider, you know, you gotta be safe, like so 35 mile an hour, I think I should try to do it in 40, uh, fourth gear maybe, I'm starting the speed again too early. thing about racing is changing gears using the clutch that's what makes it challenging you know nowadays they have the paddle shifters I think it's just useless you know it takes the fun out of racing and makes it more like a video game where you know you don't really need any talent to race 
I was just watching the Formula One and uh, uh, you know that's what it's all about Formula One racing the greatest I guess again they dumbed it down with all these paddle shifters and all that stuff uh, I think they should just go back to manual plus shifting and see what guys can do that's where the fun is anyway uh, I think hope you guys are enjoying the ride it's just uh, I'm just loving this but more and more practice more and more practice the key is to oh there you go buddy this is what's this is what I got to be careful about. Traffic. Traffic. Okay. I better take it easy. People are starting to come out of their houses. Sunday morning. another video in a week's time. I hope you enjoyed this.